New Zealand team with one change from that which played against uh, Saudi Arabia. Grant Turner coming in for Brian Turner. Four very big light standards here with about 75 bulbs on each, giving plenty of light on the stadium, although all the lights at the moment uh, are not on. Well, shot from Rufa. Beautiful shot, a good opportunist shot coming in and uh, Kusheng just getting his hands to it and palming it round the post. There's the shot from Rufa again, just palmed wide of the right-hand post. There's pressure on the New Zealand goal right across. A great save there by Alan Post. Good long kick from Richard Wilson, showing no effects from uh, the slight injury which he uh, had earlier in the week on the thigh muscle. The referee giving a free kick to New Zealand and it's midway in China's half. Knock on Winston Rupa. One control with him and Steve Sumner. Just a knock above the right eye it seems. And Doug Edwards, the New Zealand physi physiotherapist. Wayne. Bad ball. Plenty of freedom there for Grant Turner. He can uh, use space. Looking for Alan Both to go forward and uh, sees he's not there. But a beautiful ball through for Duncan Cole. A very difficult moment for the Chinese there. Duncan Cole put right through by Grant Turner and... Duncan Cole put through outside the penalty area and the players came out here and uh, had a look around the ground and it takes a short stud. Bobby Armand after his injury yesterday uh, was in quite a deal of pain overnight but has come through the night pretty well and uh, now seems to be doing quite well in the early stages of this game. Whether he can last 90 minutes or not is another matter. Steve Wooden. Well, that's a great ball with Duncan Cole running on down the right. In for Steve Sumner. Well, that's a great chance. Wide of the right-hand post. Lee seemed to have it covered, but uh, it was a good chance for Steve Sumner. He took it down well and fired it just wide of the right-hand post. Some 350 Navy supporters uh, from New Zealand here uh, on... Uh, working uh, on their jobs here in uh, Singapore and uh, they're very keen to get tickets for this game and of course with it being a sellout they got their tickets all right they're in the stadium lending support to a good Kiwi contingent here to support the New Zealand team but of course most of the audience here are Chinese Now the referee stopped play just inside the Chinese half and calling Grant Turner across because one of the Chinese is down and Grant Turner is booked. The Chinese player putting on uh, something of an act in the middle of the field. Steve Wooden. Good chance and that's a goal. Steve Wooden has opened the scoring. The header by the defence, back, and Steve Wooden latching onto it and slamming it into the right-hand corner. 17 minutes remaining in New Zealand lead by one goal to nil. A goal scored by Steve Wooden. Chiron. It's a beautiful ball to Gugar Ming in front of goal, well cleaned up by Grant Turner. The Chinese build it again. And the referee's going for his back pocket. I think he might book Alan both. He does for going in with both feet on the Chinese midfielder there. 
And Alan Both has come off second best. Steve Sumner. In the penalty area is Wooden and Rufa lurking. And this time Steve Sumner is being booked for not getting on with the game. And I guess this is frustrating the New Zealanders somewhat. The referee very, very strict and uh, certainly not allowing any leniency at all. New Zealand having to tread very warily with their free kicks not to incur the wrath of the referee from Brazil. Wilson missing it completely. Not a good one from Richard Wilson. First time he's been tested. And it's offside anyway that with the second opportunity. Peter Simonson to make his first appearance in the New Zealand shirt. And it'll be Alan Both who is not looking too good with an injury around about the ankle or thereabouts. He has his right boot off. Sumner in the penalty area. Ricky Herbert is there with a chance for Wooden. Free kick to New Zealand. It was at half time. That is half time. So New Zealand with a good first half, particularly in the first 20, 25 minutes. What can they do in the second half to get back in the game? Armand. Richard Wilson only under pressure really once in the first half when he saw the ball go over his head, but it didn't come to anything. Li Fu Sheng at the other end saw one go past him and inside the post. Plus another couple that whizzed round about him. Turner on for Rufa. Rufa with a chance and that's a great goal! A flick on by Grant Turner and Rufa latched onto it like a leech and blasted it into the top left-hand corner. Dodds missing the tackle. Cole. Speed down the left flank. Wilson, great dive. Cole. It looked like a rather a bad commitment from Wilson, but he could, was effective. Turner challenging, but China taking the free kick. Chirong. Good skills by the Chinese. That's Wilson's. Well taken, Richard Wilson. Sliding tackle by Sumner. Missed, and uh, China come again. Herbert, Elric, and Sumner. Oh, great ball through for Wooden with another chance. He had to have a go. He was being shaded by the uh, fullback Xin Pao. Now China build it again. New Zealand sustaining a great deal of pressure now in the second half as the Chinese side try to get uh, one or two goals back. The referee penalising New Zealand outside the penalty area and free kick to the Chinese. Offside. And there's going to be another substitution because it seems that Rufa is uh, limping a little bit. Glenn Adam is going to take over. And Rufa certainly looking the worst for wear. But he's battled long like only Kiwis know how to battle. Zihong. Wilson out. There's five New Zealanders along the, the edge of the penalty area. Marking closely the Chinese attack. 
referee has blown his whistle inside the penalty area. It looks like a free kick to the Chinese. New Zealand is on the six-yard line. Sustained pressure from China. And China has scored. It is Chang Dong. From the set play under pressure, New Zealand conceding the free kick. And a tap to Chang Dong. Chang Dong. Shaded by Simonson. Penalty area certainly getting rather conglomerated in the Chinese crowd getting excited as Wilson dives away, but would uh, Bobby Armand had come inside him and nodded it away. Steve Sumner working hard on his team to try and lift them in the remaining one and a half minutes of the game. The crowd starting to leave the stadium. They're not expecting any more fireworks. Elric putting it in towards the penalty area. A dangerous header. Blasted away by Sumner. The Chinese are offside. Yu Hua. Past Elric. That's Wilson's. Oh, a very desperate lunge over the uh, crossbar by Wilson to concede the corner if he'd not got to that one it would have been curtains for New Zealand into extra time another corner to the Chinese Wilson's out for it and grabs it no it's over his head but he was challenged in the air the Chinese still in position 2-1 to New Zealand time is up on the clock Grant Turner, hold possession, Grant Turner. Glenn Dodds dashing forward. Turner could well hold it. He's caught offside as Glenn Dodds. We're into injury time by 45 seconds. New Zealand leading by two goals to one. New Zealand have to hang on for another few moments while the referee allows play to continue and the Chinese come back yet again a vital block by Bobby Armand on Yu Hua still the pressure is maintained well into injury time Wilson punching away Wooden slamming it upfield Lee is up by the halfway line and New Zealand has won the match. Mission accomplished New Zealand. Mission accomplished New Zealand's finest footballing hour. And the referee takes the ball. Grant Turner is absolutely shot. What a magnificent victory to John Hadsett, Kevin Fallon and the team on the field. Well backed up by those players who weren't able to make it in Singapore. They're all part of a wonderful team effort in 1981 and 82. And of course the New Zealand public who have done so much to support this team. The New Zealand team in front of the New Zealand support contingent of naval ratings, naval officers and some of the people who flew up to Singapore in the past few days and there's not too many of them in a 60,000 crowd. They are absolutely jubilant as New Zealand runs its lap of honour.